Just making this quick video just to show you how to set up the Sky Booster box. Um, Sky just sent me this about a few days ago. Um, I rang them a week ago because I was having a problem with my speed, internet speed, my Wi-Fi speed. So they just sent me this box. So I'm just going to make this video just to show you how to quickly set it up within minutes. So, but before that, I just want to show you on my um, on my computer the actual speed I'm getting at the moment. Um, and I'm sort of about 8 meters away from my actual broadband, my actual main Sky Hub, broadband hub. So I'm going to go on to speed test. Okay, run speed test. So what I'm doing, I'm actually with the Sky's fastest internet and I'm paying around £70 a month and they guarantee me 80 megabytes per second with Wi-Fi but I'm paying for over 100 megabytes per second anyway. So let's just see what it's coming up with. Okay, so what I'm getting right now, I'm, I'm about 8 meters away from my main Sky broadband hub. Um, so that's 8 meters but I am in another room by the way. So this is still not good enough, 31 megabytes per second um, is kind of a piss take for the amount I'm paying. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set up this Sky Hub, this Sky Booster box and then straight after I've done that and then I'm going to test it again to see the difference. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this Sky Booster about halfway distance, so halfway, so it will be about four meters away from this computer and four meters away from the actual main hub. So it's extremely easy to set up, open the box, take out the actual booster box. It's just basic, just a simple box. It's really easy to set up. You don't need any of the wirings except for the power adapter, grab this power adapter. I've already connected it up. I'll tell you exactly what, what you do. So you put that cable into the back, plug it in, switch it on, and then what happens is the power light will go red and then give it a couple of minutes then this power light will go solid green and then give it another minute or so then the Wi-Fi light will come on so both of these will come on when both forget the connected when the power and the green light go on there's a WPS button on the side here what you do you push and hold this button for about three seconds approximately then let go and then this will start flashing on and off and then you go directly to your main hub mine is here right in the front and that's another four meters away from the booster and on this main hub you've also got another WPS button and you do the exact same thing you push and hold that for about three seconds let go and it starts flashing on and off So once both of them keep flashing and this flashes, after about a minute or so, this light will go to a solid colour, but it should go solid green. But after a couple of minutes after it's connected, it should go off anyway. So this light's gone off and the light on the actual hub has gone off as well. But as long as um, all three lights are on and the connected is solid, that's fine. It's been so busy today, when I was actually connecting it up, I just spent about four or five hours messing around, I had to do a couple of jobs, so I got back, so, and I've just placed it here anyway, so let's just check the speed now. Okay, so before I test the speed, um, just to tell you what service I'm paying for, I'm paying for the Sky Broadband Ultra Fast, and it promises speeds of 145 megabytes per second. Um, I've never seen that sort of speed ever anyway, I've been using Wi-Fi. Uh, the most I've got is like you've just seen 30 megabytes per second approximately. Um, I've never seen speeds of that much. Even when I take this laptop near the hub on Wi-Fi, I'm getting around maybe 80 at the most. So now I've connected the booster, let's just see what happens. So let's go on to speed test. Let's test the speed. Holy shit. What the fuck? 142 meg.
Oh, um, I've never seen this before. I don't, I can't believe it. 144 megabytes per second. Just because I put that booster on. Um, I've never seen speeds like that. Even if I put this laptop right next to the actual hub, nothing happens. The only way I'm guaranteed speeds like this is if I actually put an Ethernet cable from the actual laptop directly into the hub and it's connected as a cable. I just can't wait, man. I've got to do this again. I can't believe it's this speed. Let me just test it again. Unbelievable. That's given me over 100 megabytes per second with that booster. Over. Flipping out. I can't believe that. So it's over anyway, so it's over 100 megabytes, so average around 140-ish. Bloody hell, I was getting around 20 to 30 megabytes per, sec per second. So with that booster, you've added 100 megabytes per second, that's how effective that is. I didn't even think it was going to work. I thought it was just a gimmick, but it flipping works. You'll also be able to download things much faster with it as well. Let's check it one more time. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, so just a quick flick through the setup guide. Okay, it just tells you what's in the box. Setting up your Sky Booster. That's just putting the power adapter on and where to position it. Um, and how to connect to the Sky Booster, which is exactly what I showed you. Um, press and hold the WPS button on your um, booster first, which is what I did. Then it'll start flashing amber. Then you walk over to your main hub. Do the same thing, push and hold the WPS button for a few seconds and it'll go flashing amber. When both are flashing, they're obviously trying to signal with each other and then it'll just go solid. Um, according to this, it says it'll turn solid green. Um, when I saw mine, it went solid amber. Um, but then I had a couple of customers come in. I had to deal with them. So I've just been out working all day, so I've just got back. So anyway, mine went solid amber, but I don't know if it went solid green. But anyway, after a couple of minutes after it's connected, as long as all your three lights are working, including the connected is on, that's fine. Um, then it does say the WPS lights on your booster and Sky Hub will turn off after two minutes. That's why when I got back, both the WPS lights were off. So, But the three lights on the hub were on. As long as they're solid, that's fine. Um, if you do have any other issues, like the light is not solid green when, you did it, when you've done it, or it goes red or anything. On the back of it, there is a contact number for Sky Help or stuff like that. So yeah, there it is. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.